Hey guys, welcome back in the kitchen with me. Today we're going to be making a homemade sweet potato pecan pound cake. So come on in here and let's get started. So we're going to start off with creaming our butter, our brown sugar, and our granulated sugar together. So we're going to blend these three ingredients until they're nice and fluffy. You want to make sure that the butter and sugar is combined together. You don't see any crystals. And so you want to keep blending this until it looks like whipped butter. And don't forget to, throughout the process, um, scrape your sides down. So I'm going to lift the top up and push my sides down, scrape my sides down again. Okay guys, so this is how you want it to look. This is how it should look, just like whipped butter. And if you feel like you need to let it go a little bit longer, you can let it blend. It's not gonna hurt anything to continue to blend this a little bit longer. So I let this blend for about 10 minutes and in between that 10 minutes, I stopped it like three times to scrape the sides down. So now we're gonna add our sweet potatoes to here. So I cooked the sweet potatoes. Um, I baked them in the oven just because I like fresh sweet potatoes. But for this recipe, you can also use canned sweet potatoes because they're already soft and just mush them up. Okay. Wipe this down. So this is all combined together. What we do. And again, with this, stop in between and scrape your sides down. Um, the reason I add the eggs one at a time and for if you're new at baking or something, it's really important to mix the eggs one at a time. That way you make sure that everything get incorporated with the other, with your other ingredients. So just add the eggs one at a time, let one blend, mix up, blend, and then add the other. So now I'm going to start adding a flour mixture a little at a time. So the flour mixture I have here, I have um, my pre-sifted flour some nutmeg, some cinnamon, and some allspice mixed in this flour. So we're going to add, and I usually, as I stated, do about three sessions of this mixture. And when I lift it up and add the flour, we'll scrape the sides down. scraping the sides down and then I'm going to add my vanilla flavor into this mixture now and let that blend on high for a few minutes and then we'll be ready to put it in the oven and make sure um, when you start uh, preparing your cake get your oven preheated to 350 so by the time you get everything mixed up the oven should be at the temperature it needs to be for the cake to go in. So I'm going to add my vanilla flavoring in here right now. And then we're going to mix this up. I'm going to mix this on high. Okay, so now that I've blended everything up together and let it blend on high, 
for about six minutes with the vanilla extract. Now it's ready to go into the pan. So last time I scraped the sides, then this is what the batter should look like. I'll get my cake pan. Okay, so now I have my cake bunt pan ready and I sprayed it with nonstick baking spray that has the flour added into it. So I'm gonna pour my batter in there. Okay, so now that I have the cake batter in the bunt pan, Everyone in my house like nuts in the cake. So I added a little flour to these pecans so that they'll stay in place in the inside of the cake and not go to the bottom. So I'm gonna put these in here and push those down inside the cake. And I'll tell you guys too, when you put your batter in these bun plant pans, make sure that the round part of it is oiled up really good because that's where your cake tends to stick to. Okay, so now that we got those down in the bottom, now I have my pecans that I've um, coated with some brown sugar and cinnamon and I'm just gonna put these on the top. Now I'm gonna hit the bottom, get any air bubbles out. And I'm gonna put it in the oven and let this bake for about 55 minutes to an hour. All right, we'll be back in 55 minutes. Okay guys, I'm back, so. I let the cake cook for an hour and I came and checked it. So I let it cook for another 10 minutes. And so after an hour and 10 minutes, it's done. It smells so good. So I'm gonna take it off of here. Look at that. Here you have a sweet potato pecan pound cake. You guys give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, bye.